this few people in a long time. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. yeah is everybody on spring break? I thought that was last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're out eating chicken. They're about oh, okay. to come in. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. They're descending upon us now. Okay, good. Good morning. How's everybody doing today? Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. awesome, awesome, awesome. So we're going to get kick started um, um, and welcome. And Evan, our, I know we're going to talk about um, why we're here, and that is that we, our mission here is to build careers worth having, lives worth living, businesses worth owning, thank you, lives worth living, experiences worth giving, and legacies worth leaving. And our values are God, family, and business in that order. Thank you, Evan. And our beliefs are the Y4C2Ts. Can anyone do this without looking at it? They get a free office bill. No, God. Uh, no we already got it. You guys get my free office bill. I'll do it every week for free office uh, bill. No, 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 no. You already did it. Who else, can anyone who else, can else stand, do it? Who, who else can stand up and do it without looking at um, the, the song? Take a who chance. What do you got to lose? Okay. Aww. All right. Win, win, or no deal. Integrity, do, do the, the right, right thing. thing. Customers, Customers always, always come, come first. first. Commitment in all things. Communication, seek first to understand. Creativity, ideas before results. Teamwork, together, everyone achieves more. Trust starts with honesty. Equity means we provide opportunities for everyone. And success, we define as results through people. Awesome. Welcome, welcome. All right, tell us something good today. Who has something good that they want to share? Because we got plenty coming up good to share with y'all. I got something good. I'm gonna stand up because it take a second to explain. So for those of you who have uh, not heard of 75 Hard, it's a 75 day fitness challenge where you have to work out twice a day for 45 minutes per workout, have to stick to a strict diet, no booze, um, both of those were difficult for me. <laughs> um, read, read 10 pages of uh, personal development a day, drink a gallon of water a day, and take a progress photo, which I could care less about progress photo. If you cheat once, you go back to day one. Uh, yesterday was day 75. I finished the whole challenge. I'm incredibly proud of that. So that's the good news of that. But the reason I did it, uh, it goes back to my big why, which is do you want more time with my daughter? And I do. I had high cholesterol. My cholesterol was 274 before I started this challenge. Uh, I got my blood work done, got my doctor's appointment. My cholesterol came down to 155. 119 point drop in 75 days. And, wow. Yeah. So, you didn't cheat once? Huh? You didn't cheat at all a little bit? Didn't cheat at all. Uh, my diet was incredibly strict. Tony. How did you do all that and still get 200 phone calls a day in? <laughs> I, yeah, I get up at 4 a.m. and I don't stop. <laughs> so, anyway. But people don't want to be called at 4 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm trying to work out. That's the challenge. Work out at 4 a.m. Awesome. Congrats, Tony. Yeah, Thanks for sharing. Congratulations on that. Who else? Something good. Come on, y'all. I know y'all are involved. I know y'all are. Out, I uh, hear that the, the transactions are up. Oh, mm -hmm. Mr. Evan. I just got back from Austin from last week, guys. I went to Megaship Leadership uh, training, which was awesome. I know there's the agent thing. Um, learned a lot of great tools and information about I'm going to be able to uh, teach classes better for you guys, bring more value to the market center. So I'm excited to get that started for you guys as well. So next couple weeks, you're going to see things changing a little bit with how trainings are going to go. Um, so definitely cool. excited to bring that for you guys. Also, you look smarter. Uh, I was sick yesterday, so like I, I probably look like not as smart today. But yeah, you do. You look smarter. I, I am glad you're back because when you were gone last week, I was like present. Too much food. Actually, you know, I when I was it was like what? mini vacation as well as work, but I was in bed by like the room by nine thirty every night because you were getting up early and wanted to focus. So I was actually really good. <laughs> I did go. I did go to downtown Austin not once. I didn't need to go properly. Too. Plus, beers were like ten dollars a pop. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> yeah. Good, right. good, good. Anybody we're glad else? you're back. We're Anybody really else? glad you're back. My license is officially. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Good, good, so, yeah. good, good, good. I good, like mine good. so much. I leave it places. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, Jessica. Okay. Yeah. We're glad. Yeah. We're so awesome. glad. That's awesome. All right. All right. What else we got today? 
We have got Mr. Tapia. Come on up with Super uh, Home Warranty. Hey guys, how are you? I'm Victor, for those who do not know me. Uh, who Do we have any bold members here? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So you might um, have seen my uh, colleague Gene last time at, uh, I think it was last Thursday. Uh, so I'm gonna touch a little bit about the points of what makes us different and also touch some points of what's going on in the market and why you should consider uh, recommending a home warranty so you're protecting your client as well. So, well, first of all, we're the only digital uh, platform out there. So you can schedule your um, appointments, any claims is doing all, it's done online. If that doesn't work for your client, they can call us. Within two minutes, we're responding. Our times are two hours to book an appointment and nine hours to dispatch. So that's a record. We're the best um, out there because of our technology. Uh, number two is our in the clear program. So during the, during the due diligence period, you send us the inspection report and we'll tell you will not be denied due to pre existing conditions. And that's going to be in writing. That gives you room to negotiate. And then we have touch up services after that, like uh, carpet cleaning, window cleaning, uh, termite, uh, different, different services for your clients that they can select there. So the idea is just to, uh, well, own your house, live like a renter, stress free, but also uh, help you guys improve that customer experience and close more transactions. What I want to talk to you about today is um, what's going out there in the market. A lot of people are not asking for you know inspection reports because the inventory is low. Uh, we've seen a lot of not good news. Um, actually, you know, people move in, something breaks, they blame the agent when it should not be the, the case. Uh, we're here always, to support you. Always. Yeah, <laughs> always. We're here to support you. And how we do that, uh, if you use in the clear program, we don't charge you anything for that. So you send us the inspection report. We'll tell you what are the red flags. Uh, you communicate that to your client. You say, you know what, this might uh, be an issue in the future. If you want to consider a home warranty, I recommend you do it. You don't have to sell it or anything. If you want more professional advice, you call me. I can, you know, give a full explanation. But at least you're covered in that terms. You know, the fiduciary right there is very important, so that you are not at risk at all, and that you are protected. So we don't charge you anything for that. Um, and within 24 hours, you'll get a full inspection, uh, full report, sorry, about in the clear and what are the red flags. So that gives you room to negotiate uh, on behalf of your client. So uh, what we are asking basically is that just consider uh, us as, as part of your checklist during closing. And if there's anything we can help you with, uh, we're here to support you. I don't know if you have any questions. Any questions for Victor about his home warranty? I'm, I'm interested in window cleaning. That, that kind of was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, never do that. So yeah, that it's it's an extra service that you don't have to get bids from everyone. We just give you the provider. It's booked. They do it. It they sounds really good to me. No cash okay. involved. Anybody have questions for Victor? Okay. Well, we thank you for breakfast. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, I'll, I'll be... stick around with us. If you have any questions or if you want to uh, ask for an inspection from um, Super, thank you very much. <laughs> Mr. Godfrey, what, oh yes, we have Pacific oh. Law in the house. Come on down, <laughs> Pacific Law. <laughs> Bethany, Morning. Marshall, and Justin. How uh, are y'all doing today? Good, good. Glad to have y'all. Yeah. Did you have anything you want to announce and jump right into it? Um, I can talk about our new legal description yeah, email. Yeah. It is legals at pacificlawllc.com, and there are six of us that have access to that. So as soon as we get that, somebody will get back to you guys as soon as possible. Did y'all hear that? Y'all heads up. Um, they have a brand new email. All you have to do is email legals with an S. Legals yes. at pacificlawllc.com. That. Okay. And you'll magically get a legal description. So isn't that awesome? Okay. I'll bust it out again today. Thank you. It's, on, it's on the Facebook page too. It's on your it's pinned at the top of the our Facebook page. Awesome. We're making that we're, we're making a game out of that internally to see who can do it the fastest. So please test I'm someone. waiting so far. <laughs> he, is, he is quick. What does the winner get? Uh, we'll come up with something. <laughs> <laughs> but, but clout is really awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Reputation's everything. Um, but yeah, so guys, I uh, appreciate you having us here again. Uh, those of you that have already sent us contracts, really appreciate it. Hope you like uh, working with us. If you haven't already, we invite you to give us a shot. I think we can improve your uh, customer's experience there at the very end. We all know how important it is that, that goes smoothly for you to get that referral in the future. It's just like a reputation. You can build it forever, and it can be destroyed in a second. Same with a bad closing experience. We'll make sure that never happens to you. Um, and we always try and bring you some kind of we always try and bring you some kind of uh, 
useful information here too uh, with like what we see going on in the market. Um, big thing right now is temporary occupancy agreements. I know you guys see them, you probably hate them. Um, unless you're on the listing side, they're super convenient, right? I did one when I sold my house because uh, I needed to, but uh, I'm sure you're aware there's a lot of dangers with that. Um, the, the biggest thing is what if they don't leave? You know, uh, not, <laughs> yeah. um, and people think, oh, well, it's my house. I'll just, you know, call the cops, say they're trespassing and pull them out of here. It doesn't, it doesn't work that way, unfortunately. Um, you actually, they'd be considered like a holdover tenant under the law. So you'd have to actually evict them, um, which is not only a pretty expensive couple thousand dollar process, but it could take 60, 90 days sometimes um, if they're clever. Some, some people could really make it bad if they want to file bankruptcy and do things like that. It'd be, it'll take forever to get them out. Um, so that's your risk there, but um, we have a solution for you that I haven't seen fail yet. Um, whenever you get forced into that situation, obviously avoid it if you can, but I know right now as a buyer, a lot of times you don't have a choice. You've got to go for it. If that's the case, you can put a special stipulation in there that says there's going to be an escrow holdback. I would suggest some, an amount that hurts, $10,000 or something like that, depending on the price of the house. Um, just think about it, if it's a $2 million house, Ten grand is not even two mortgage payments. So that's, <coughs> someone like that may stay for a long time and just pay the bill. Um, so you want to have a penalty for if they hold over, it would be a, a high dollar amount that actually hurts something more than their mortgage for each month. But bigger than that, you want like a ten thousand dollar gross holdback at the time of closing. Wow. That is automatically going to be your buyers if they're not out on that date. Um, that way. I've never seen anybody let that money go, right? They, they know that it's already in my account, that when that date hits, if they're not out, I'm sending it straight to the buyer, no questions asked. That's a great tip. So yeah, that's, I think that will work. So try that, like I said, make, dollar amount needs to vary based on the deal. You don't want it to be too crazy, but um, you want it to be enough to really motivate them to get out of there. And uh, if you have that in place, people know, you won't have anyone that says, oh, I'll hold over one month and pay that one penalty or whatever. Um, you can put a real sting on it and it'll help you guys out a lot. Um, Great too. If you want to add to that? Um, yeah, definitely reach out to us if you need help like drafting those stipulations. Right. Um, we want to make sure that we're um, saying what we mean in contracts and not what we think we mean. Um, so definitely reach out to us to make sure that um, what you want to happen is what happens. Yeah. Um, somebody online asked if they can have the exact language sent out in the email. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Can like you send that special stuff out? Yeah, we can put Marshall. a yeah, we can put a general one together okay. for you and send it out to everybody. Okay, awesome. And y'all, they're also sponsoring um, Shred Day, which we're going to talk yeah. about right. shortly, which is Saturday. Oh yeah, coming up. Yeah. So, any questions for uh, Pacific? So obviously, you guys do a escrow holdback. Yeah, of course. Yeah, <laughs> we sure will. There's, there's no not other much attorneys we, do that, but yeah, there's there's not much we won't do to help you guys. Honestly. Okay. Is that there. Thank you very and much. Also, we, have we have happy hour coming oh, up. Right. Yes, a month from today, actually, May 19th from 4 to 6, and that's going to be at Mojave. So we hope to see everybody there. Oh, and we have office hours today. Yeah, yeah. 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 we'll be here. Um, so nice. Come have questions, bring them to us, and we'll yeah. be more than happy to answer. We're right up front. If we haven't met you, just feel free to stop by and say hello. Love it. Thank y'all. Thank you. That looks fun. That looks like a fun, minty, lime, lime, yeah, 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 we'll enjoy it. And the minty at that restaurant. Certainly. Yeah, it looks amazing. All right. Oh, I assume that's our cue to come up. That is. Yes. All right, All right. I kind of saw it, so I figured uh, it's time. Good morning. Good morning. A um, couple things. First of all, Talking of happy, speaking of happy hours, thanks. Um, we held one last week, so thanks whoever uh, showed up. Uh, co sponsored with uh, Janet. Yeah. Right so. We had thank Yeah, I know there was a few of you guys that um, kept stealing tickets. But yeah. that's okay. We won't mention any names. We overstayed our welcome. I don't know why'd you do that. That's not like a deal to move. Um, I wanted to talk to you for just a minute about condos. Yeah, I know. I know condos. How many of y'all are involved with condo sales, either listings or selling them or whatever? Okay, then you know there's been, you may or may not know, there's been some big changes when it comes to lending in condominiums. This was brought on because of the Florida collapse last year. Remember the big thing, a lot of lives were lost and um, 
uh, what was there, 80, 90 people died, I think, in, in that collapse. And it was, it, was, it was a horrible thing, and it was primarily caused from some deferred maintenance that was a known issue, but had not been resolved. So Fannie and Freddie stepped up and said, you know, we've got to protect our borrowers better. So we have always had what's called a condo questionnaire. And if you've done a condo sale, you know that's the first thing your lender should do is get this condo questionnaire filled out. And it addresses um, the uh, percentage of investors to owner occupied. It addresses the delinquencies. Delinquencies, uh, addresses a whole lot of reserves, a whole lot of things. What it didn't address was deferred maintenance. So Fannie and Freddie in their infinite wisdom have now instilled questions or installed questions on this questionnaire that deal with deferred maintenance. Excuse me for one moment while I get a little help and I'll tell you what they are. Uh, it says, has the HOA or property manager been notified of any pending or active special assessments? No big deal. We know about that. Has the HOA or property manager been notified of any complaints from the unit owners that could affect the safety, structure, soundness uh, of this project? Has the HOA been notified of any code violations that have not been satisfied in the last five years? Okay, those questions were added. This has been recent. This has been just in the last couple of weeks. Okay. Um, anybody know who HomeWise is? HomeWise is a management company that manages a tremendous amount of condominiums around Atlanta. Um, I have a deal going now. We sent them the questionnaire. HomeWise sent back the questionnaire, refusing to answer those questions. This is going on out there, and it's important for you guys to know about this, especially if you're involved in a condo transaction. We call HomeWise, and HomeWise sent us a lengthy email stating for legal purposes they're not going to answer those questions fanny freddie said well we're not going to approve your condo if you don't answer those questions so this has been a big problem okay and it's starting to escalate more and more so i want to make you guys aware of this and give you kind of a workaround or a solution now at this moment fha is not requiring that uh, we do believe that'll change soon, but right now FHA is not requiring that. And by the way, y'all know about the FHA website you go to to see if the condo is approved? Mm -hmm. You know that's a dinosaur, right? Yes. They don't maintain that anymore. We do spot approvals for FHA, okay, just like we do for Fannie and Freddie. But the workaround for this is when you're listing a condominium, get the questionnaire filled out up front, okay? That way you know if you're going to have a problem or not. Um, if you have a problem, such as this long letter from HomeWise, okay, um, go to the HOA directly. Go to like the president of the HOA. They can answer those questions too. All and right. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that the reason that they were refusing to answer those questions was because they weren't, you know, HomeWise is in their ivory tower somewhere and they're not they're not on site they're not you know they're not right. on the grounds they, they can't answer those questions right and well not only that i mean even if they were aware of something they don't want to expose themselves to liability okay so it's a problem now i believe you're holding a condo so a brand new class that i've never taught so um surely nothing will go wrong yeah um, but <laughs> Next Tuesday here, uh, 1230, I'm doing a condo class. So it looks like a townhouse. Is it a condo? It looks like a condo. Is it a townhouse? Legal descriptions, fee simple. We'll talk about the questionnaires, different types of financing. Um, so all about condos next Tuesday here. I would highly encourage you to attend that class. They'll discuss some of the workarounds that we have that we've been successful with and some of the things we haven't been successful with. But it's important, I wanted you guys to know that when all of a sudden we get something back that says, I've never been asked these questions before, what's wrong with your lender? Well, nothing's wrong with the lender, they're new, it's new. And some of these people have been doing cash transactions, so forth and so on. 
and it has to be done whether it's a full um, or a limited review. So real quick, I'll, I'll say thank you for anybody who showed up last week for the ribbon class. Um, that's a great arrow to have in your quiver. Um, learning more about condos. And I think what Randy's talking about is there's a lot of things that are changing. So if you're used to the way that things have always been and that's just gonna keep working, you're probably wrong. <laughs> so make sure you're getting this education, make sure you're coming to these classes and learning about what's new and what's changing so that you can help your buyers and your sellers get to the closing table because we all know that this business is not transactional, it's relational. So it's not only about getting one deal closed, but it's about having a happy buyer, happy seller that's going to refer their friends and family to you for their next deal and keep that momentum going. So mortgage 102. Mortgage 102. Uh, I'm teaching mortgage 102 today talking about appraisal gaps, credit issues. Um, my favorite thing about mortgage 102 is y'all bring your problems here. So I love solving problems. Um, if you've had a, a closing go sideways or an issue with a, with a deal, I love talking those through and seeing if there's some way that we, we could solve it. Awesome. And I put 12, but it's immediately following the contracts class. So whenever that's over, it's going to be that. Probably about 1230. About 1230. Okay. Uh, Kevin? I, I'm, I just want to clarify. You mentioned FHA and you mentioned conventional. It really doesn't matter the kind of question you're asking the answer for either. The, the condo questionnaire has, has to be answered either way. Right. However, those three questions that have been added by Fannie and Freddie are not currently on the FHA sheet. The questionnaires are a little bit, they ask mainly the same questions, but they are a little bit different. Right. So it's just the conventional stuff. It is just the conventional right now. I expect FHA to be throwing their hat in the ring. I mean, as you know, FHA is, is probably more more stringent, more concerned about right. safety, structural. But right now they have not yeah. issued that mandate. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Thanks guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Great. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. All right. Yes. 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 Hey, yes. hey, yes. hey. Y'all hey. 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 check it out. Red Day's on the way, May the 12th. And look what we have here. I, um, this is. Honest guess before you hit play, compliments of uh, An the Anna Welch team. Yeah. Hit it, Evan. Red Day is Keller Williams International Holiday that is celebrated on the second Thursday of May since 2009. It is the day when we renew, energize, and donate. It is the day when we celebrate local communities and support them. It is the day when we show our commitment to our communities. This year in 2022, Red Day falls on May 12th. The culture of Keller Williams is like no other company that I'm aware of where I was a part of. Red Day is a perfect example of watching everyone in KW come together for the good of the community. It does myself good. And my heart warms to see that all these wonderful things we've done through the years. Please participate and be a part of it. Join us. Red Day at Keller Williams is a celebration of giving. It began when our chairman, Mo Anderson, decided for her birthday she'd like for the entire company to spend a day giving. This year's recipient of all of our giving efforts here at Keller Williams Atlanta Dunwoody is Malachi Storehouse. Join us. Yeah. What's important to me about supporting Malachi Storehouse is that we are coming together as an office and a group to help families in Atlanta for food and food. And in times that we're going through with inflation and what's going on in the economy, a lot of people are struggling and we need a lot to help these people. Red Day is a time to give back. So come join us and help us do just that. Did you know that right here in Metro Atlanta, one in seven people deal with food insecurity. One in six are kids. Out of two, over 250,000 children dealing with hunger issues, 60,000 are under the age of five. Your support is critical to our success. Please support us from Malachi's Storehouse. <laughs> Every Wednesday.
Wednesday, Malachi's Schoolhouse starts early, portioning and packing food for the families in need. Cars start lining up at 9 o'clock to receive free groceries that is a lifeline for them for the next week. Malachi Storehouse is always looking for support in their mission to fight food insecurity. So Malachi Storehouse started 30 years ago, an outreach ministry of St. Patrick's Episcopal Church, and we switched our method of distribution when the pandemic hit. So we do our outdoor food distribution now. We have a clothing closet and um, we distribute groceries and fresh produce and bread and do the clothing distribution every Wednesday from 9 until 12.30. We receive donations on Tuesday afternoons from 4 until 6. Um, one of the things we did before the pandemic was serve lunch. We cook it in our kitchen and serve um, inside the church. But with the pandemic, we had to move outside and we actually stopped serving um, a meal. But today we're actually reinstating. We're trying to slowly get back to where we serve. Um, so we're serving coffee and a light breakfast today. And we're gonna just keep seeing how that goes if people wanna join uh, in with their friends and, and share a meal before they get their groceries. So that's something new that's starting up again. Normally, because of the pandemic, we are outside. Normally, we will have been inside. I meant to need more light. Because of the pandemic, we would have been, normally we do something, this will be started from a witness for 30 years plus. So because of the pandemic, we went outside. So this is how it's set up like a grocery store. Yeah, we're looking for a caterer or someone that can provide us with food for 200 and about 250 people a week for the clients. We no longer are able to feed our clients. We used to, before pandemic, we used to feed 250 people a week, but now we're only able to feed our volunteers because we don't have the supplies that we had before. I said, if we get blessing by doing what we're doing, then I want to do blessing and more blessing and more blessing. I want to receive blessings for Malachi. Okay, that's what I want. Malachi House accepts donations of professional and everyday clothing. It's important to donate professional clothing so that people can go back to work. It gives them dignity and self-esteem. So to continue to donate everyday clothing, professional clothing and shoes, and drop them off at the St. Patrick's Episcopal Church's parking lot. In our bag, we have wipes. Yes. Wipes. We have feminine products. We sometimes have hand sanitizer in there or toiletries. And we have the diapers. And this is a big non seller. <laughs> well, I mean, they got some save money. And plus, the people that were there take it out, get food. I can bring some to them and help them out too. This old Malachi house means to me that they they like to help. They like to help people. And they like feeding people. We have to share and we show love. Malachi Storehouse means love and kindness to each and every person. We treat everybody with love and respect right here. So that's what it means to me, and I love it. Lo que necesitamos es que miremos al prójimo con amor. And faith. The Hill is to give to an organization that nourishes both body and spirit, honoring dignity of every human being around the giving and receiving of food. Then join us and give to the Armory Bay to Malachi Storehouse. <laughs> <laughs> go to malachistorehouse.org. Click on the Donate Now button. Choose Malachi Storehouse in the front box. A new In Memory Of box will appear. Type Keller Williams and enter the amount you wish to donate. We hope that you can join us for Shred Day. Saturday, April 23rd from 11 to 2, will be taking place at 223 Perimeter Center Place. That's in the Terrace Building, right where Target is. Everybody in Deadwood knows where that is. But if you're not sure or you need some more information, contact your agent. Remember, we're here to help the community. 
So we're looking forward to it. That kicks off to our red day. And we're really excited to take part of this and we hope you will be excited to join us. Esta actividad es muy importante para nuestra comunidad. Abril 23, después de traer sus documentos viejos para nosotros descubrírselos y también sus donaciones. Los esperamos. Los esperamos. Esperamos verlos acá. Acompáñenos, por favor. You're invited. And we'd love for you to have the opportunity to bring old uh, documents that have, um, you know, personal information on there that you don't want to throw in the trash can. We look forward to seeing you at Shred Day. Come on down and join us. Присоединяйтесь к нам. 23 апреля у нас будет коммерческий шреда. Приносите свои старые документы и благотворительную помощь. Если есть какие-либо вопросы, пожалуйста, обращайтесь. I'll bring it for you. That's just how committed we are to our event. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. <laughs> Join us. <laughs> this lady right yes. here and just how much that completely encapsulates red day and culture so just love it love it love it and it is our pleasure to be in business with people just like Anna. so y'all give her a hand uh, there's nothing really else to say other than y'all come to red day um uh, shred day uh, on saturday morning it starts at 11 o'clock so it's an opportunity to tell all your clients about it use this touch um use it abuse it and use it as leverage to you know um get in front of your clients and do something um and give them the opportunity to either bring some food or um non-perishables um to uh for red day and then we have red day on may the 12th i think is the next slide evan um which is when we're going to be um, loading the trucks uh with all the stuff that we've collected and we're going to be delivering it to malachi house and then having a, a barbecue i believe yeah on the premises right matt right matt look yeah. 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 So this video was created for everyone to market. As you can see, it's not personal, it's just for the whole office. Uh, the whole file, if you want to place it on your YouTube channel, if you have one or post on your social media, Evan has the file. He can share it with you. I'm gonna send it out to everybody today. So if you want it, here we go. It Perfect. File. Are you gonna upload it? Upload it to our YouTube? I'm gonna yes. say yes, ma'am. We can I'm direct upload to, upload to, upload to your YouTube. No, the Kelly K W. To your Facebook pages, yeah. yeah. to your LinkedIn, Very to your good. whatever. I actually did the boost on my Facebook page. I already have like over 200 views. What? So um, market it because it's pretty much video is good only for five, four more days. Yes. Yeah. 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 So awesome, yeah, awesome job. job. Great to yeah, night. Thank you. Yeah, yeah that's so right. After Shred Day, by the way, there will be another video coming out because we have a couple of people who didn't make it into this one. I saved them for the next one. Mm -hmm. So there will be another one that you can market all the way through uh the blog. Awesome. Thank y'all so very much. Nice thank you. Nice you. Very all right. Well, oh my gosh, look what look what happened, y'all. Shift happens. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah, there was that awkward non-laughter. Okay. Um, we are hosting an event that we're going to talk about again in just a minute, which is a unique event to your market center. We are the only market center in Metro Atlanta that's going to be hosting Jane Shaw, who is going to be teaching the class on Gary Keller's book called Shift. Okay. So um, we're going to be um, talking about this pretty consistently in the, in the 
upcoming weeks as we approach May the 13th. Um, it is, and we'll talk more about the event. So as we do that, let's go ahead and um, roll up the, the screen, if you will, Evan. But you guys owe it to yourself to get this book back out. And if you don't have a copy, you know, see Terry or myself. I have hard copies on um, or, or Evan. And, um, and we I have hard copies. I'm sorry. We have hard copies, but we also sent you a link to download the PDF copy if you That's want right. to. And what I have been doing is I have been listening to it on Audible. So yes. for you that are driving around all the time, showing buyers out, it's a perfect opportunity to not listen to music, but put some good information in your brain and listen to it on Audible. Awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we're going to talk about the, there are a couple of principles that I want to share with y'all, and then we're going to talk about um, the law of equilibrium, which is the very first part of this book. And it pertains for those who, who are newer, for those of us who are veterans, it applies to all of us. Um, so let me just share a couple of things, and then we're going to talk about the law of equilibrium and see if y'all have any questions or, or more anything um, that you'd like to share with the group that pertains to this. But as we're approaching a, a shifting market with, with economic uncertainty, right, with global political uncertainty, I can guarantee you that the market that you know now is not going to be the same market that you know six months from now or a year from now. So now's the time to, to start getting into the right mindset. In shift on page two, Gary Keller writes that real estate markets shift, they always have and they always will. And the business goes on as bleak as things can look during the shift. When I look back, and I, I believe they've served as the genesis for everything I've become and the catalyst for all I have achieved. In fact, I've come to see them as opportunities, and so can you. Okay? Um, shifts are never, um, shifts are never unexpected, but they're rarely predictable. Shifts are never unexpected, but they're rarely predictable. Each time a shift occurs, we act surprised, right? Like, oh my gosh, wow, there's a shift, as if it never happened before, right? And once the shift is over, we act as if it's never going to happen again. Right? Um, it's interesting how we deceive ourselves. Um, he describes the anatomy of a shift on page nine as um, he says shifts are easy to understand and they occur whenever supply and demand move out of balance. Right? So there are three types of markets there's a buyer's market, a balanced market, and a seller's market. So anytime you see um, either supply and demand move, shift around, then you're going to see the market shift from one of those to the next. And right now, which one are we in right now? Seller. Seller. Correct, a, sell a seller's market. Um, he, Gary, says the hard truth is that local market, local market shifts are seldom slow and local landings are almost never soft. Local market shifts are seldom slow and local landings are seldom soft, right? It's like a pendulum of a golf swing, okay? Beginning relatively slowly, but accelerating very quickly through the middle. And some local shifts can actually take your breath away, okay? So think of it like a golf swing. It's not going to be a slow process. It's going to happen locally, quickly, tends to. Several factors can cause an economic shift. Currency exchange rates, right? Randy Lip, you could talk about that. And political climate. Currency exchange rates and political climate. Y'all, this was written in back in like 08, 09. Still true. Um, when the shift occurs, fear runs rampant. When the shift occurs, fear runs rampant, although not everyone responds the same. 
If individuals understand a shift or actually experienced one, they know how to push past the fear and face two tests, survive and thrive. Um, so the first um, thing that I want y'all us to kind of learn about, you'll, you'll learn as we go through this book, is the law of equilibrium. And this is a law of hope for all of us who were like, oh my gosh, Clark's carrying me, right? This is a law of where we can really derive um, a lot of hope and make plans to succeed for the long term from. Um, the definition of the law of equilibrium states that available income in a market determines the number of agents in that market. Um, industry can become flooded with practitioners, agents, during a prolonged seller's market. Industry, the real estate industry, can become flooded with other agents during a prolonged seller's market. If you can ride out the initial lag period as more and more people get, so, so as, your, as the income increases on this graph, so do the number of agents getting into the business, right? And once it peaks and it starts coming down, the same happens with the people, agents in the business starts decreasing. And he states in here that, um, that if you can ride it out as it comes back down, as more and more people start getting out of the business, that you will find yourself in a less competitive market. Charlie. Between 2008 and 2010, the ARA, our residential board, went from 9,500 members to 5,500 members, where 4,000 people got out of the business. Wow. And in the commercial, it was, went from 2,500 down to 1,300. So it went in half, divided in half on both. Well, 50, 55 to 60 percent. Yeah. 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 40, 40 percent plus people got out of the business. From 08 to 09. Great example. Thank you. Um, so to thrive in an upshift, right, you must, serve, you must first survive the downshift. Because as it goes back down, then you're going to see it eventually come back up. Um, this is the survival strategy. Adapt to the new realities of the new market quickly. Change what you need to change and do what you need to do. At the very least, this means maintaining your number of sales while the market declines. Okay, I'm so gonna, say that again because I'm gonna repeat it. Okay, okay, okay this again. is kind of where all this is going, y'all. It's on page uh, 16 of Shift at the top. Um, at the very least, this means maintaining your number of sales while the market declines. So the difference in that thing is don't pay attention to your GCI. Your GCI is higher typically when we're in a good market, but your units can be lower, right? So you've got to pay attention to your units, not your GCI. Does that make sense? When prices are, are being are thirty percent higher than they were a year and a half ago, then your GCI is going to be the same. But right. your units are probably going to be fewer. Right. Yeah, so you your GCI can fool you because if you're looking at your GCI saying I'm I'm making so far I'm on track to make twenty five thousand dollars more this year than I did last year, but if you look at your number of units, your number of units could be down by five. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. All right. Okay, well, like, well, like the, I like charts, so I like the chart factors. And there was one where I think they used to, used to call it the American Island chart. But the, the number, like the inventory graph could go way high or way low, but the number of units sold in the area is almost consistent. The prices of the units go up or down, but the quantity so, that so sell. Long are the same whether you have 10 to pick from or 10 fighting over one so that's right i mean it's the same that that chart that we see in chart masters the number of homes sold from year to year remains pretty steady mm -hmm. yeah 
So, so this is what I want to share with you guys. When you, when we're up here, eventually it's going to bring us back down. And as we do that, it's time to, to really refocus your efforts, redouble your efforts, change what's not working, start doing, you know, continue doing what is working. And then we're going to talk more about managing the financial aspect to this. Terry's further along with her read than I am. I told her, you know, I've just kind of started scratching the surface since I read it back in 0809. Um, but uh, this is very, very hopeful because um, very few real estate companies are going to be uh, sharing this information with you guys. And Tony. also, just to um, next week, you'll definitely want to be here at team meeting next week. James Shaw, that is teaching the workshop on May 13th, will be um, in our team meeting next week, going over more detail and everything about the workshop. Over so Zoom, you, yep. Yeah, over Zoom. So you definitely do not want to miss next week's team meeting. Okay, and, and that, uh, Tony, go for it. Oh, yeah, so as you said, you know, we could, obviously, I think everyone here knows the listings are key, right? And one of the things we pointed out in bold was that there are three to one buyers versus listings coming to the market, right? So as you're trying to survive the shift, really have to focus how can I find more homeowners to talk to and put my database and stay in contact. You're, you're talking about listings, right? Find, to okay. find, right. Yeah, find yeah. homeowners, you have to find listings. Right. We don't talk enough about that. Mm -hmm. And I know it's obvious, but you know, it's kind of like, you know, the economy stupid. It's like, it's listings stupid, right? So, you know, it's, it's listings. Listings is the key to overcoming a shift. The more listings you have, the better off you're going to be. Yep. All right, so, next. and now is the time to, like Tony's saying, now is time to really start focusing on getting in front of sellers and not just buyers. Yep. And there are <laughs> sellers out there, you guys. There are sellers out there. So, you just got to change the way you're, you're you looking for You got to change the, your mindset, the way you're thinking. And, right? and, and, and that means that I'll just kind of. Finish off with one of the girls I uh, that spoke at a office that I spoke at. She talked about a way she did bold one hundred. She went to Home Depot and talked to people at Home Depot uh, who were doing home improvement stuff. You know, so that's a great way to meet homeowners and you know without spending money. She said she went to like six of them in one day, so she wasn't the creepy person walking around Home Depot. But at the same time, <laughs> that's a good way to I think meet homeowners and. Yeah. and, and, and yeah, go to Scott's uh, Antiques with people shopping down there. Go meet people down there. It's a great way to get into Opportunities Way and give them an item of value. Get into commerce. Get into commerce. Where, where, a, where your name tag? Yeah, there's a lot of ways right to now? get in front of the sellers. Yeah. There's, a, there's a lot more ways to get in front of the sellers. It's, you know, for, for you that don't like to cold call, there's some very creative ways. One of our agents, <laughs> I wish she was here, actually. We should have. Uh, but Paige Pace, one of the things that she does is she gets uh, her and her assistant victoria they get a wagon and fill it with bottles of red wine and they go to neighborhoods and they knock on doors and, get and if the seller no, if the seller <laughs> talks to her you know then she lets them pick out a bottle of wine out of the wagon i mean come on there's a lot of different ways and it's not like you have to spend a bunch of money go get two bucks up Right. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Awesome. But there's a lot of different ways. Just start like creativity, right? Yeah. Ideas before results. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's talk about the event itself, y'all. This is a super fantastic <laughs> event for you to be at just to learn and implement the ideas. And it's also, this, pardon me. This email to everybody to yeah. He just, uh, Evan has this out by email. Um, yeah. that, there is an event bright link for you to sign up. It is $25 per person. If you bring a non Keller Williams agent with you, yours is free and your guest is guests registration is free. So um, there's limited seating. Um, at some point, we are going to open it up to other folks and when it's full, it's full. So I encourage you to go ahead and sign up send this if you've got anybody um i know we've talked about it several of y'all in the room have sent terry and me some folks maya i need to follow up with you about somebody that you mentioned to me uh about making sure that they come to this event that we invite them to this event um so let us know what we can do 
help us uh, and help you grow your profit share tree and grow your business. Anything and the class will be held in the auditorium over here by the restaurant. Yep. Yes, John. So I just scanned the barcode. Yep. And it let me it let me go in and register with the event. That's great. Yeah. yeah. So because if we if we charged you through the Eventbrite, then it's either we're gonna have to pay to Eventbrite to charge for you guys paying to them, or to just take out the money. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna charge an office bill, as it says on here. Um, we're just charge agent office bill just to do monthly bill. You just pay your own. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, unless you want to charge twenty-seven dollars, so that way Eventbrite doesn't charge us more. Yeah. Well, thank you, Evan. Cool. Bit of money. I'm glad you I'm glad you registered, John. Awesome. Yeah. See how easy that was, y'all? Now I'm gonna to see you. For that. some people who know how to do that. For others, it's not quite easy. <laughs> so, so how do you scan the QR code? Because I know there's a lot of people who do this a lot. Just open your camera and then like when you hold it over the QR right there, you just like there should be a little yellow thing that pops up right underneath it, and you just click that little yellow uh box that pops up. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> Awesome. Keep going. What, if we, what else we got? Every class is for the right. cash. Mr. Renee, you want to talk about that? Definitely. Anybody that needs some tips on market analysis, the business that we're in talking about listings, understanding how to price properties, what that looks like, how we do it, please show up on April 20th. That's a very creative uh, class, and I'd love to see everyone there. And on Lead Conversion 101, it's the post uh, ignite. So all of that lead generation, we're now going to show you how to convert those leads and turn them into dollars. So join awesome. us on the daily. That's show. tomorrow and next Wednesday. Thank you very much, Miss Renee, Coach Renee. Ignite is tomorrow, um, Renee. Ignite is tomorrow. Oh, that's right. And I want to, I have to attend Ignite, but I want to attend the CMA. I'm not out until 12. They overlap. We'll have to figure we'll that figure out. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll push the class back a little bit. Okay. 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 We'll, 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 um, work it out. we'll adjust. We'll adjust. Okay. Um, Ignite. So this continues tomorrow. Tony Toich is going to be leading us in building your business. Say it again. Sorry, what? <laughs> Did you not know? Oh my gosh, you're scared. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Tony's going to be here tomorrow, y'all. Um, so this is awesome. I know there were about seven of us in the classroom yesterday. I'm excited for all of y'all. So awesome. Next, Evan. Um, all right, our um, mega agent mega camp contest continues. Uh, Terry, would you like to say anything about this? <laughs> Would I like to say anything about this? Okay, so we've got two people that are neck and neck. Oh, Blake, look at you. You got 16 points. All right. And so Tony has 16 points. Ashley is right on y'all's heels with 11 points, right? So this is super easy, you guys. Super, super easy. All you have to do is come to either me or Clark. Give us a name. We're going to pick up the phone. We're going to call that person, have an appointment with them. And as soon as they join, then you've got eight points and you're closer to winning that free trip to Mega Camp. And what is Mega Camp? The best event Keller Williams have every year. Yay, Rashad! Yeah. That was so true. It really is. It really is. Not only is it the best educational event that you can go to that Keller Williams puts on, but it is the most fun city to come to with me. I can take you to all the great restaurants in Austin too. So, right? Yes. Right, yeah. right, right. I know my That's sales the in best Austin part. restaurants. <laughs> so it'll be a lot of fun, but you'll also get a lot of education. Um, you cannot beat Mega Camp for anything. And yeah. to be able to win a prize like this where your flight is included, your air, or your hotel is included in the ticket to Mega Camp. Come on, guys. You're going to get a lot of free food, too. And yes, Maya. Yeah, too. I would say it's a great like way to lead generate as well, because like I just uh, got a referral out of a uh, family reunion that was like uh, the buyer was supposed to come here, relocate. They ended up staying in uh, San Francisco. I met an agent there, talked to them, referred them out my uh, former buyer and they are listing their home and buying in San Francisco for over like $2 million oh, in GCI. Wow. And I'm just like making that referral check for 
doing nothing but picking up the phone. So these events are ways for you guys to meet other agents in other market centers, in other regions. And if you can get like 25% of everything they sell in New York and LA, hey, sign me up. Yeah, yeah that's right. I'll, I'll second that with my, uh, so my family and connected with some people. Um, I just sent three referrals to New York. Um, for some buyers that's buying up there in, the, in my New York referral that I met at the Family Reunion, um, just sitting a referral to Atlanta that they buying an app for us. Yay! That's how to work it. That is exactly how to work it. So, it's, so, so, it's our, so, the, so the trip, we, I, what I paid for, it's already back. It's already back. Yeah. It's already back. And the relationship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Awesome. So okay. even so, the point there that Rashad and Maya are making actually is, if you don't win the trip, you should still go to Megan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, this is the mega agent event down in Savannah that's sponsored by the Southeastern region with the Carolinas region. So see this on our Facebook page if you're interested. Keep going. Um, technology in our market, similar. Um, would you like to say anything about this, Evan or Pat? Um, so Patrick Spalding is, um, he's with the region. Uh, he's a regional tech guy. A lot of times if I don't have an answer for you, this is why we talk to. Um, he is an amazing person, very educated when it comes to all things Keller Williams technology. Um, so I'm going to have him in market um, in the market the 29th of this month. Um, he's going to be kind of just going about over a, in general a bunch of different things. Um, and he's also going to do a little Q&A at the end. So um, I know a lot of people have different questions that like teams and command um, changes a lot. I don't know a whole lot of those answers. So um, things like that. If you have questions, write the questions down, come to the class, um, and hopefully we can go ahead and get all that taken care of for you guys so you can learn a lot um, and kind of answer some of the questions you guys may have. So he's a great wealth of knowledge and resources, so please show up. Excellent. Show some love. Excellent. What else? Okay, scripts practice every Thursday at 9 a.m. So you will see me at scripts practice every Thursday at 9 a.m. We have a good time, don't we, Cheryl? We do. We do. <laughs> so please join us from 9 to 9.30. And deposit link. Uh, this is what we want you guys to start um, uh, using um, as an option to earnest in order for, for when your buyers uh, present an offer and they send us or your attorney their earnest money, it enables us to wire their earnest money back to the buyer if they terminate on the contract and you don't have to wait on a check. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Is yes, it recorded Tony? or can we maybe do a non Thursday because of gold? It's recorded and I sent out a recording on yeah, Thursday, but I can send you Okay, awesome. Thank you. Okay, it's recorded. Next. How to get paid, Kiana? Um, opportunity must be approved. Please submit the commissions tab. That way we know the breakdown of it. Um, PAC, please submit at least three business days. And direct deposit, commission checks, everything will be processed within two business days of it being turned in. Awesome. Thank you, Kiana. Yeah. Opsity. Um, for Opsity, we won't know that you have an outside referral. So in the commissions tab, you need to put... It. You need to put that as the outside referral and then put the percentage. For Opsity, I can find all of the um, referral agreements if they don't send it to you. So just let me know if you need it. Okay, and I think uh, Keller Williams School of Real Estate, we're going to be having another um, uh, career day on this Thursday, mm -hmm. right, Terry? Mm -hmm. So anybody that you know that wants to get their real estate, pre wants to take a pre-real pre-licensed real estate course, we can offer that to them free of charge and help you grow your profit share trade. Like, yeah, I love to help you do that. So does Terry. So see us for more information. And if you have not picked up your new fob for the exterior doors for after hours getting into the building, these things are in your mailbox, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, and they look like that. Yeah. Okay, we good? Yes? And I think that's it, Evan. Is that the last thing? Yeah. So finishing up on time. Oh my gosh, y'all, it's 11. Like, that never happens. We don't have to vlog, y'all. But um, what have y'all got coming up? Listings, George. I've got a, like, uh, it's not going to be listed. He doesn't want to deal with just. Y'all, heads up, listen up. Sorry. 
I'm going to try to make the word online. People can hear me. Uh, I've got a listing that won't actually get listed. It's a completely a pocket listing because he doesn't want to deal with just tons of people coming through his house because he's got tenants there. Johns Creek, 535, four bedroom, two and a half bath. Um, he, he wants to see if he can get some coming soon action on this and then, you know, eventually go ahead and get it listed. In one. So, well, make, uh, make sure it's coming soon or else you might have Terry come down and see him. Coming no, soon. No, we'll, I'll get it on coming soon, but oh, cool. he, he wants to get some attention on it before because he wants the shortest possible time on right. the mar actual market. All right. Well, I'm you glad listed. you agree. You, you can't show it. Push back. Yeah, yeah, you gotta leave. Okay, we'll we'll talk, but he just told me tell everybody that it's coming. Okay. Uh, so and tell us one more time the price and the location. Five thirty-five Johns Creek, four bedroom, two and a half bath. Okay, awesome. See George, y'all. Yeah. Who else? Hmm? Yes. I have a buyer need for commercial. Sure. I'm looking for a corner lot at least um, two acres minimum. Price point. Really flexible, all cash. Um, looking to do a gas station. If it's already existing, great. If not, it's okay. Um, but we're looking for a corner lot for commercial. Where? Anywhere. <laughs> Please open. Anywhere in the state? Anywhere in the state. Mm -hmm. That's a little bit vague. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. Well, mainly we're in Gwinnett County right now. But Has we've you ever also. Have a gas station before? Yes. Okay. Where's the only one now? Well, he's moved from, well, he lived in Atlanta, but he owned one in New York. Well, I should come and have yeah. a consultation with Charlie and talk through that uh, situation. I think Scott's, Scott's got your man on the gas station. There you go. All right, there you go. All right, All right. yes. Uh, Doney Club Forest, uh, very nice home. Should be at early May. Uh, four, three and a half of the swimming pool, uh, low 700s. Townhome over. Uh, in the Claremont, uh, North Georgia Hills area of Woodcliff, three two for around four hundred. I mean, all these come to the next see what Nice, Dunwoody, yeah. and over in uh, Claremont, North Georgia Hills. Where'd you go, Kevin? Who else? Hey, hi, Clark and Terry is Trinnell. Hey, Trinnell. Hi, uh, hi. I have a uh, buyer client. <laughs> Um, and that is in Snellville, Grayson, or Lawrenceville, Gwinnett County. And the price range is 620, a 54 that they're looking for. All right. Katie Melcher. Hi, yes, um, I've got a new listing in Smyrna. We'll be listing next week. Um, price point 900,000. It's got over 4,500 square feet, five bedroom. Um, Skyline View, it's a gorgeous place that's only nine years old. So, nice. more details too soon. Okay, Rashad. Uh, yeah, I have a couple coming soon. Uh, first one coming next week, we have uh, 7473 Spring Rocks Drive in Hampton Oaks at South Fulton. Uh, four bedrooms, two and a half bath, one of the last Martha Stewart design homes in the community. Um, we'll be going on the market at 425. Um, updates, uh, move-in ready, pitch backyard, um, uh, none rental restrictions, community um, for you uh, DMV buyers. <laughs> uh, also, I have coming soon, new construction. How much? 425. Yeah, send it off. Um, and then I have, uh, <laughs> then I have come, uh, new construction coming soon, we're ready for you next week. Yeah, that's right, hoping I hear uh, Mechanicsville, uh, Charleston style design, uh, four bedrooms, three bedrooms. Uh, uh, oversized garage with northeast views of the downtown skyline. I actually just walked into one of my stages. They thought I was going to be priceless. They said five seventy five, too low. They think it should be for six twenty. But right now, our, our, our floor on that is five seventy five. We'll be ready in about three weeks on that. Call out that we'll address, would you? Six nine seven Garibaldi Street in uh, Atlanta, Georgia zero three one zero. And then I have fourteen fifteen Almond Drive. In Oakland City, we're finishing that up, new construction. We're about three weeks out on that one. We'll be 550 on that. And I have a few of them, so I do two guys next yep. And for all your open houses, see Rashad. Yeah. For the whole host, all those, all those, that awesome inventory of it, right? Maybe. We're just getting started. All right. John. That sounds so good. We also Thank have you. new construction in Oakland City, which is 
down the street from uh, Charles. You want to get to the market before? Uh -huh. Ours will be on the market next week. It's a three bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Ours will be on the market next week. It's a three bedroom. You need anything else from household? <laughs> three bedroom, two bath, 2,100 square feet, new construction, nice. all on one level. It's a great, great house. Uh, open concept. Actually, uh, the guy that built Rashad's house is building this one. And then down the street on Van Baldy, we will have, if you if you like kids, we're going to be building one very similar to it. Down the street so you can get in right now. <laughs> we're actually going on a field trip to the Garibaldi, to Rashad's listing. All of us from Ignite, we're going to go do a field trip and discuss, uh, you know, how to show a home. So be on the lookout for that invitation, hoping I are coordinating that. And my open nice. series of four bedrooms, three baths, 2,800 square feet, two stories. Oh, I love competition. <laughs> <laughs> three, three, two. Oh, yeah, there you go. Any, anybody else? Anybody else? Three, eight, All right. All right. Well, Thank we appreciate y'all making a great day. Um,